So today I want to show you a few ways to make some cool transitions without having to spend a lot of money using some of the very basic features that we've talked about many times here on the channel, the fundamentals. Let's dive in. So here I've got some video clips that I brought into my project. Let me bring some of these down. We'll go with the football stadium arena, put that in the timeline on one track. And right next to it, we're gonna put a clip of someone punting a football. Now, if I put them side by side, it creates just a standard cut, it goes from one clip to the next clip. But if I wanted to do something more interesting than that, yes, we know you could go up to the effects tab, you could go down to video transitions, and you can grab all kinds of transitions that you can see how they would look from one clip to another just by hovering your mouse over either one. It'll show you what that transition would look like if you pasted it between these two clips. But one cool thing that you can do is you can actually go find some other footage and use it as a transition. Let me show you what I mean. So I've got a piece of green screen footage of just a football that's just rotating around in a circle. If I put that into a track above my two clips, watch what I can do here. First of all, I look at it and the ball's moving kind of slow. So let's use some of the fundamentals we know. Let's right click on that footage. Let's go up to retime controls and let's speed this up quite a bit. You can see I just hover my mouse in the upper right corner and pull left to speed the clip up, pull right to slow it down. And if you look at the very bottom, you can actually see the percentage, how fast it's been sped up. 100% would be the actual speed of the clip. Anything above 100% is how much faster it's going. And then anything below 100% would be slowed down. So let's speed it up quite a bit and take a look. That's a little bit better. And I wanna make sure I can see the laces right about there, cool. I'm gonna right click again and turn off the retime controls to lock that in. Now, right where the laces are faced out, I kind of wanna have that be right in the middle of this transition I'm gonna create. So with that clip selected, I'm gonna hit the marker. And if you noticed, it puts a marker right there where my playhead was. Super useful for finding the exact spot in a piece of footage that you wanna remember. And I'm gonna drag this over until it's right in line with where those two clips come together. And you see how it creates a vertical line and sort of locks me in when it gets to that point? That's because I have the snapping magnet option enabled right here. If I turn that off and move this clip, it wouldn't do that. So make sure you have the magnet snapping tool enabled. It really makes finding these connection points a lot easier. The other thing I wanna do with this, I'm gonna select that football clip. I'm gonna to go to the upper right transform and I'm going to increase the size of it slightly and I'm gonna change the rotation right here and just spin it a little bit this way. You'll see why I'm doing this in a minute. Now I need to get rid of this green screen that happens to be on this clip. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go over to the fusion page. And with that media in one node selected, I'm gonna hit shift plus spacebar on my keyboard. And I'm gonna look up Delta Keyer. Make sure that's selected and add it. And with the Delta Keyer selected, I'm gonna go up to the upper right and see this little eyedropper right here. Left click and hold and drag that over and put it right over the green. It'll take that green right out nice and easy for you. Now I can go back to the edit page and my background is removed. Now all these little green screen clips I have up here, everything from UFOs, footballs, to guys parachuting. I got all of these from today's sponsor, Storyblocks. Storyblocks is an online asset house where you can get things like high quality video assets or images, music, sound effects, templates that you can use right inside of DaVinci Resolve, overlays and more. Now I've been using Storyblocks long before they were ever a sponsor. I've been paying for them for years because I find what they provide very very valuable for video editors like me. I like them because they have one predictable price that allows you to download as many things from their website as you need for your projects. There are no limits whatsoever. And all of the things that Storyblocks offers are made by real creators. It's not that AI generated stuff that seems to be taking over the planet. And Storyblocks allows me to find the kinds of things that I can use in my project that would be really hard for me to create on my own. If you're interested in checking out Storyblocks, I'll leave this link down below where you can go check them out today. Now, I need to turn that into a transition Right now, it's just a fast spinning ball in the middle of my preview window. Now that's kind of in the middle right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull back towards the left and let's say I wanted my football to come in from the left side. I've got my playhead moved back several frames. I'm gonna grab the position X that controls left and right motion, left click and hold in the number value box and pull to the left, just so it's right off screen. I'm gonna go up to the upper right inspector and under the transform section, I'm gonna click on that very top keyframe so it puts keyframes all the way down for all of the transform values. But I needed to keep going off screen to the other side. So what I'm gonna do is about the same amount forward here, moving the playhead forward past that middle point. I'm gonna left click and hold on position X and I'm gonna move it off to the right till it's completely off screen. 
Now, if I play through, we've got a football that will come through and sort of swipe past the footage. But it's not creating a transition yet because what we're seeing is the football comes through. I can still see the football stadium. And then when I get to here, I can still see the football stadium background. And I get to the next clip and it changes very abruptly, right? There was no smooth transition. What I'd like to do is have the ball move through the screen and sort of bring the new footage in with it. So let me show you how to do that. What I'm going to do is select both the footage of the stadium and that football clip. Left click hold and just draw a box around them. Now they're both highlighted. And I'm just going to left click hold and drag that them up into new tracks above the original track. And now I'm going to take this football section and make sure right where it goes off screen about there, I want to make sure that that point is definitely over the original footage as well. So let me slide that a little bit to the left and I'm going to slide this other track underneath it now because it's in its own track. So we have each item. One track has one piece of footage. The other track has the other piece of footage above it. And now that football track is above both of them. So I'm going to place my playhead right where that marker was, where the football is pretty much in the center. I'm going to select that top piece of footage, which is the football stadium. I'm going to go up to the upper left and see this drop down menu here. I'm going to select crop and that's going to give me active crop right up on my preview window. Let me show you what I mean. At this halfway point, I want to make sure that the new footage is coming in with it. So up to this point where the football comes in, I should see nothing but the stadium. And right where the football sort of blocks the entire left side, I'm going to drop a keyframe right there under cropping. I'm going to go to the middle section where the football sort of somewhere in the center. And I'm going to grab the left side of the crop and pull that footage over so that it tucks behind the football. I'm then going to go forward to the point where that football pretty much falls off screen. I'm going to grab the left side of the football stadium crop, pull it all the way over. And then I'm going to double check. What should happen is the ball should come in and we should never see that crop line go anywhere other than the side of the ball. If it does and it starts getting exposed on the left side, we'll adjust it. But it looks like I've got the whole crop in. So now when you roll through, you see that simple football creates a cool football transition from the stadium to someone kicking the football. Now, if you have any questions about this kind of technique, let me know in the comments section below and I'll be sure to do my best to answer. And if you want to learn more about how to edit videos with DaVinci Resolve, click on the videos that I have on screen now or the ones that I'll link down below. Peace.